Sustainable food packaging could be even greener if an NTU discovery goes mainstream. Something called a chitin is a key ingredient in the process. The team has found a way to extract it using fermenting prawn shells and discarded fruit. The conventional method of extraction involves processing marine waste chemically, which is costly and less environmentally friendly. And for a closer look, we're joined by Professor William Chen, Director of NTU's Food Science and Technology Program. Thank you very much, Professor Chen, for joining us. Um, so, at the very beginning, why did the team begin this project? Uh, well, first of all, thank you for having me on the program. Uh, at the NTU Food Science and Technology Program, we have developed uh, uh, a number of uh, platform technology to sort of uh, help 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 Singapore reduce uh, food waste. So there are a number of food waste that we have uh, tackled so far. This uh, prawn shell is uh, uh, current, the current one we are addressing. Now, various uh, types of food wa fruit waste produced good results, we understand, but red grapes were the most effective. Why is that? Uh, well, uh, because when we try to uh, reduce food waste, we do not want to use a traditional method which uh, actually generate another type of uh, waste, like organic waste. Therefore, using fermentation technology, we find that this is the uh, first very cost effective, second is uh, uh, very easy to implement, uh, and uh, third, most importantly, it does not generate uh, other type of uh, waste. Therefore, we have uh, apply the fermentation technology uh, in a number of uh, food ways. Uh, this uh, uh, prong shell is the one that we are uh, currently uh, tackling. You mentioned there that you know the, the your project doesn't use the traditional method. So how likely can this then be adopted commercially in the new future? In the near future. Well, okay, so if we look at the uh, prong shells, there are a number of uh, components, uh, including minerals like calcium, carbonate, uh, chitin, the most important uh, useful one for us is a chitin, and then a protein. So traditional chemical processing method actually use a uh, uh, strong acid or, or alkaline to remove the uh, mineral and protein. Whereas we uh, tap on these uh, microorganisms' uh, ability to remove uh, both mineral and uh, proteins, and uh, it's a process of uh, enriching the chitin content in the prong shell. And, and we also use uh, uh, actually these uh, uh, fruit peels as a carbon source for the microbe to grow, so that we actually this will achieve the objective of uh, reducing two type of uh, waste. One is a uh, uh, prong shell, the other one is a uh, uh, fruit peel waste, and generating something of high value, which is a chitin. And we understand your team has also taken it a step further by leaving the chitin to ferment even further. Tell us more. Yeah, all right. So uh, uh, the difference between chitin and chitosan is basically the uh, deacetylation process. There's a chemical group that will disappear uh, when the chitin is converted to chitosan. Uh, so very interestingly, our fermentation uh, allows the, this uh, uh, reaction called deacetylation to happen naturally. So the chitin will be converted to chitosan uh, after the fermentation. So we have found that 70% uh, of the chitin after fermentation is already converted into chitosan. So what's the difference between the two? Uh, basically, chitin is uh, uh, very much uh, water insoluble, whereas chitosan is very soluble, water soluble. So uh, when you have this uh, property of water solubility, then we can make a, a wider application, including uh, antimicrobial packaging film, which is about debatable in our case. Thank you so much, Professor, for coming in and speaking to us this evening. We've been speaking with Professor William Chen, Director of NTU's Food Science and Technology Programme.